Okay, here's the sequence again. If I have the sense wire grounded already and I turn the rate the power supply on in the back, if I go over here and look at the radio, turn this on, no action. And if I go through here, take the sense wire, unplug it, unconnect it, connect it back up again and ground it, then it'll work. So it's like the wire on here has got to be grounded after, at least on mine, after the power supply is turned on. There's some type of sequence issue. So if I turn this off, connect it back up again, it's going to work because I got the supply on. But if I connect this up, leave the sense wire grounded, and go over here, turn off the unit, and then go through here and turn it back on again, you can notice there's no click, got no action from the radio. If I take this again and go through, undo the wire that connects up to the ground, connect it back up again, there it's go. So it's kind of like you get to turn the supply on, then you got to ground it. This is a timing issue, it's the way it works. At least the way mine works. I guess if I wanted to hack into it I could change that, but that's what I've been doing for a couple of years. There's the PS20A uh, switching power supply with a 20%, 50% duty cycle. There's the light that's on. There's the back again. Speaker. Output for 12 volts for a fan. Get a tenth of a mil. Tenth of an amp. Ah, oh, let's see what it's putting out there. We really got, let's just ground this to see what's going on. 13 volts. There it is running the radio. If I turn it off here, turn it back on. Radio doesn't work. So you got to go through and take the wire, unground it, ground it again. Kind of interesting. <laughs> oh well, there's the South Supply PS20 showing a bunch of different ways. Take care. Bye.